Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to another lesson on Arabic writing. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you something that you can use to improve your writing of the Arabic language. Okay. In the previous one, we've learned how to use adverbs. We've, we've learned how to use adjectives and so on and so forth. Okay. If you can use that always in your writing, okay, make it a habit to use adjectives and adverbs always. Make that as your default sentence. Okay. Now this one is where you can improve your writing a bit more by using reasoning. I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, okay? Reasoning. We also call this the cause and effect, okay? Giving a cause and giving the effect. Asking why will definitely help to expand your sentence because people like to know the reason behind certain actions and intentions. So here are some of the reasonings that you can use, some particles of reasoning that you can use in your sentences. First one. Lien, because, okay, lien. Don't worry about grammatical rules or lien, who, lien, which one. Don't worry about that later. Okay, now, don't worry about that. But use them first. Okay, it's fine. It's normal to make mistakes in your writing. You instead of marfu, you write it mansub. Instead of mansub, you write it majrur, and so on. It's normal to to make that mistakes at this point in time. Okay, this is where I come in. I come in to help you change. To make sure it's correct but at this juncture i want you to use these terms in your writing because because it or he because she or it okay haythu means since haythu okay due to or because of or for the reason of bisababi min ajli Okay, for the sake of or because of. Okay, now these particles are all interchangeable. So you can just plug in and play. <laughs> okay, in the sentence. Uh, normally we use li'anna, li'annahu, li'annaha, right? So you can just plug in and play with new, new particles. Haythu, bi sabab, min ajli. Okay, li'zalika. Li'zalika can mean uh, for that reason or therefore. Okay, idhan, consequently, or thus. Lakin or lakinna, okay? Lakin and lakinna has the same meaning. One of it is stronger than the other. Lakinna, which is this one, is slightly stronger than the other. Means, but, okay? Or however, okay? And it's used in reasoning. Okay, let's try. Let's try a simple sentence over here. Okay. Ada al waladu, walad bima'ana, a boy, waladu waladani awlad. Jama taksir. عاد الولد the boy returned إلى البيت returned home the boy returned home okay very easy give me a reason now okay add a reasoning into into the sentence a cause and effect you can see immediately the sentence becomes long because you have to include the cause and effect عاد الولد إلى البيت the boy returned home لأنه because he تعب بعد يوم he was tired after يوم طويل okay after a long day في المدرسة at school can you see that very easy right just using لأنه it forces you to to put this sentence now your sentence becomes very long okay لأنه لأنه تعب بعد يوم طويل صفة موصوف يوم طويل في المدرسة جار ومجرور Okay, tamam, mumtaz, very good. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll learn more techniques on how we can expand our sentences. Inshallah, see you on the next one. Salam alaikum.